every hero in MLBB has a different difficulties level. But there are some that we can get hold of it after playing 2 to 5 match. I'm sure that you won't be able to use the following heroes at their best but you can give a good contribution to the team as those heroes are easier to catch up with when compared to others. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will talk about the 10 best heroes that are easier to use especially for new players. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First, we have Saber. Saber is still that one-shot king in Mobile Legends. One thing to remember about him is that he can be powerful and weak at the same time. Saber highly depend on skills, especially his ultimate. So always try to play safely in the earlier part of the game to avoid getting preyed on by opponents. Once you have already bought the necessary items, you can then continue your bloodbath mission. What makes Saber great for beginners is that he can one-shot almost every hero and because of it, he can dominate early games easily. He is excellent for ganking and ambushing objectives because of his skill surprise element. These are the equipment that is the most suitable for him. Magic Shoes, Blade of Heptasis, Hunter Strike, Blade of Despair, Malefic Roar, Immortality, or Endless Battle. Next, I want to include Yin. He is among the strongest fighters who will surely dominate the game. Yin is great in close combat, which makes him great in 1 vs 1 fights. However, his capability to enclose himself and the target set him apart from the rest. Once he casts his ultimate, he will fight head to head with the target and no one can disturb them. Jin is perfect against heroes with low damage or is weak in close combat. What makes Yin great for beginners is that he can dominate the solo lane. He deals burst damage which enables him to attack and kill enemies immediately. He can also lock a target and attack him with no interruption from nearby opponents. I would recommend these builds for him. Warrior Boots, Bloodlust X, Hunter Strike, Malefic Roar, Blade of Despair, Dominance Ice, or Immortality. Okay. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines, and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. The next hero will be Karina. Karina is a hero with easy skills that deals a huge amount of damage. Her skills can increase her movement speed and make her immune. She also deals magic damage which is lethal since she is also an assassin hero. Lastly, her ultimate is what makes Karina a powerful hero. Karina moves towards hero to deal magic damage when you use this skill. The skill is best maximized to get close to an enemy and use the other skills to deal damage. What's deadly about Karina is that the moment you kill a hero with her ultimate, the skill cooldown will be reset. And she is then ready to take on another target. What makes Karina great for beginners is that she can jungle fast and can easily ambush and gank other lanes because of her mobility. She can kill a full HP hero just by casting her skills. 
You can use the following builds as they will suit her the best. Arkans Boot, Calamity Reaper, Holy Crystal, Concentrated Energy, Genius Wand, Winter Truncheon. Moving on to the next hero, we have Jilong. Jilong has straightforward abilities that are easy to understand and execute, making him a good choice for new players. He also has good survivability as his ultimate has the ability that increases his survivability, making him a good choice for new players who may struggle with staying alive. And in the late game, he can easily burst all squishy heroes. The short flip effect in his first skill make him even better. Jilong's ability scale well into the late game, allowing him to remain a strong contributor to his team. I would recommend these builds for him. Swift Boots, Wind Choker, Berserker's Fury, Scarlet Phantom, Malefic Roar, Blade of Despair or Horse Close. The next hero will be Tigril. He is suitable for new players because he has simple abilities. He also has crowd control abilities that can disable enemies making it easier for allies to secure kills and objectives. And as a tank, Tigril is designed to be durable and able to absorb damage, giving new players a good option for staying alive and protecting allies. He is also good in initiation as he has an ability that allows him to initiate fights, making it easy for new players to start fights and engage enemies. I would recommend these builds for him. Warrior Boots, Dominance Ice, Athena's Shield, Immortality, Anticuris, Blood Armor or Guardian Helmet. Next we have Mia. Her skills are very easy to use which is why she is the perfect pick for all beginners. Her skills are very simple and don't need extra calculations to pull off. You only need to be at the right time and place and target the right enemy. Although she can be squishy, especially for assassin's enemy, she has a skill that allows her to be invisible. The skill is important for her to escape and rush towards a safe area. What makes Mia great for beginners is that she can attack fast with significant damage. She is a long ranged hero and attack multiple enemies at the same time. She can also provide immunity to herself and increase her movement speed. And these are the items suitable for her. Swift Boots, Wind Toker, Berserker's Fury, Scarlet Phantom, Wind of Nature or Host Close and BOD. The next hero that I want to include is Alpha. Alpha's passive enables him to gain 2 damage and launch laser strikes on a target. He can also stun and slow enemies whenever he activates his ultimate skill. However, he is very reliable when it comes to skills with an area of effect damage and mobility. Alpha is great for beginners as he can easily charge toward enemies because of his mobility and also has a healing ability allowing him to last longer in the field. He has great crowd control skills that are helpful during team fights. The following build is suitable for him. Tough Boots, War X, Bloodlust X, Hunter Strike, Brute Force and Athena's or Immortality. Cyclops first skill is best for clearing lanes. His second skill is for increasing his movement speed. Then his ultimate skill is for locking a single target. The good thing about Cyclops is that he can spam his skills because his passive skill can eliminate his skills cooldown. This allows him to harass and poke enemies at all times. His skills are not complicated to understand 
and that makes Cyclops great for beginners. He can easily spam his skills most of the time. His skills require little to no precision which is good for beginners that are still practicing their aim. Use the following items on him. Magic Shoes, Enchanted Talisman, Genius Wand, Concentrated Energy, Brute Force or Holy Crystal and Divine. The next hero will be Balmond. His skills are very easy to understand which is why he is a good pick for beginners. By using his first skill, Balmond dashes towards the location. The second skill continuously deals physical damage to all enemies surrounding him. With his ultimate, he deals physical damage to a fan shaped area in front of him. The damage of this skill increases the lower the target's HP. Just know that although Balman is the initiator, he can also be squishy, so always keep a distance in the earlier part of the game. What makes Balman great for beginners is that he doesn't have mana which means fewer times to go back to the base and can't heal himself. He is also one of the cheapest hero to buy in Mobile Legends. These are the items that I recommend for him. Tough Boots, Cursed Helmet, Guardian Helmet, Pethinas, Dominance Eyes, Blade Armor or Immortality. And coming to our last hero on the list, we have Nana. Nana is also one of the cheapest hero to buy in Mobile Legends. She is popular among beginners because she does not immediately die even after draining out her entire HP. When she dies, she transforms and gets immunity for a few seconds. After that, she regains a small percentage of her health and returns to the game. Her first skill is also a great tool in slowing enemies and dealing magic damage. What makes Nana suitable for the beginner is that she has a long range attack allowing her to attack safely. She can resurrect after dying and her skills are perfect at providing vision and joining out for allies because of her skills. Use the following items on her. Arcane Boots, Clock of Destiny, Lightning Truncheon, Genius Wand, Winter Truncheon, Divine Glaive. And before ending this video, here's a shout out from our previous video. Hydra Gaming, Itachi Kun, Dark PXL, Shellon, and Lorenzo. So that will be all for this video. And for those new players, good luck on your way to becoming a better players using these heroes. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.